Hello again, everybody. Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief for the Motherboards on our YouTube channel, and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2010. This year, on January 7th, Intel releases 22 new CPUs. What's new about these CPUs? They all feature integrated graphics. We were lucky enough to get our hands on the new i5-661 CPU. Follow along as we show you the specifications for this CPU, its price, and what its new features are. In these next three screens, we show you all of the new features that come in the new i5-661 processor. Here we take a look at the processor itself. This is the new Intel i5-661 CPU. Here we show you the bottom of the processor which gets inserted in the ZIF socket on your motherboard. The i5-661 has a base clock speed of 3.33 GHz, but with Turbo Boost technology it can be taken up to 3.6 GHz. It has two physical cores with two cores being in virtual mode. The CPU is still built on the 45 nanometer architecture and features a 900 megahertz core frequency per CPU. It has an integrated memory controller that supports memory up to 1333 megahertz. The estimated street price on this particular CPU is $196. That may change according to dealer and what their prices are. In this screen you get an example of how Intel Turbo Boost technology works. Intel's Turbo Boost technology monitor is supported by both Windows 7 and Windows Vista. It's a new gadget that is located on your sidebar. Intel's hyperthreading technology is like having a free with multiple car lanes instead of just one. With multiple lanes, cars can move quickly and faster. Like Nvidia and ATI, Intel also has a graphics and media control panel. In this panel, you control the resolution and the other features of your embedded graphics. Intel has once again broken new ground. With the release of these new CPUs, including the i5-661 we tested today, Intel has taken the GPU and put it inside the CPU in a single package. This is very good for those people wanting to build an HTPC and not have to buy a discrete graphics solution in order to do this. The new CPUs all feature full support for HD technology and playing Blu-ray movies, which is great for those people who sit around and watch movies on their computer. The integrated graphics aren't that great. They'll play some games, but they won't play high games at high resolutions. What the, the CPU will do, though, is it will give you an all-in-one solution. Follow along if you'd like to see the scores and see our Intel and both our ASUS review.